Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So for today's video, we are going to be testing out some new makeup launches. And these are items I picked up. I want to say some of them from Ulta. I have a couple things from Octoly. And of, co of course, I have the star of the show, Little Miss Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation Stick. And I'm actually really excited to use that one on camera because I used it over on Instagram in like an IGTV video. So you guys, you know, that follow me over there had like a little sneak peek of what it looks like, how it applies, and all the good things. But uh, I'm excited because for today, obviously, we're going to get to sit down. We're going to apply some stuff and uh, give you guys kind of my thoughts and opinions now that I've worn it, so on and so forth. So if all of that sounds good to you, hang tight. We're gonna, you know, zip over in, in just like one second. But before we do that, I like to pause at the start of every video, introduce myself for anybody that might be new here. Hello, hi. My name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Welcome to the channel. Um, I do upload three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They usually go up right around 7, 7.30ish a.m. And for those of you that don't know, I am also trying to hit 10,000 followers over on Instagram. So as a subcategory to that, if you already follow me. Um, I just want to say thank you because I have seen such a huge increase in the amount of engagement, the amount of likes and saves and comments and like, like sharing of my posts, tagging me in like Insta stories and stuff like that. And I just want you to know like from a, from a creator standpoint, that really does make a difference. Um, not only in my content and how well it circulates like within uh, my following, but it also makes a big difference with how my content like circulates outside of the people that already follow me. And uh, which by the way, for those of you that don't know, if you haven't followed me yet. I do put up a ton of content over there. I've really been up in my game. I have everything from makeup application, makeup IGTV, little little funny reels, which I gotta say, some of my favorites. Um, I also love to do mini makeup reviews, plus size fashion, photography stuff. Um, just, just overall, like all of the fun things that I love to do in kind of my day-to-day -day life, that's where I like to share them. And then, of course, in the Insta stories, we hang out, we do unboxings, we take walks together, we talk about my dog, because she's really cute. Just really do all the things, because that's where I love to live my life. It's where I love to... Um, um, just kind of share with you guys whatever's going on and uh, yeah it's just it's just what I like to do so if you haven't done so and you want to see more of me outside you know of this of this space right here again I would greatly appreciate it everything will be linked down below because I'm trying to hit that 10,000 follower okay okay all right beautiful people so now that we're good and zoomed in obviously I, I took a second and handled that and we're gonna get started here with some primer now this is the one from Huda Beauty this is her new water jelly hydrating primer and this is actually the primer that launched with the foundation stick also have this one from Laneige. This is one of the items that I got from Octoly, but this is the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum, and it says that it gives you hydrated, longer-lasting makeup wear, and that it actually has, they call it light fit prep technology, which gives you a comfortable, lightweight adhesion to help your makeup wear longer, and this one I was really excited about to, to see it on Octoly for me to pick it up because um, this one is actually something that when they launched it, I was very excited to try. Guys, let's go ahead here and start uh, going in with some of the this primer. I'm going to, like I said, split the face and do one on one side, one on the other. And so obviously I'm just going to take a little Laneige over here. Oh, that feels really nice. It feels very um, like cooling on the skin. Where is my mirror? Hello. And I do like to take and press it in with my hand. I know some people prefer to use a tool and if that's you, that's, you know, totally fine. But I find for me, especially with like a serum kind of primer, um, I have a better response with my hands because I can really just feel how it's pressing into the skin. And oh my God, that's actually like surprising surprisingly lightweight because uh, again typically I, I think in my mind I keep comparing this to like a normal serum type situation um but normally with serums they're like really like slippy and glidey and even though they look beautiful on my skin they don't always last really well but with this one it actually like it, it settled in and you can't even see it like that oh wow that feels really nice and it does have like a a nice little light tacky moment okay I'm not, I'm not upset about that at all at all at all. Oh my god, I actually quite like that. Okay. All right, now on the other side, let's take a little bit of the Huda water jelly. And like I said before, I have used this one um one time. I used it when I filmed that IGTV on what day was I wearing it? Friday is the day I was wearing it. Saturday is the day that it went up um to Instagram. And this one feels very much so like a um like a cooling hydrogel that you would use more so in skincare. Like when I fan my face, it actually feels <laughs> kind of lovely. Um but this one definitely Definitely, I would say presses and like settles into your skin um, again more so as a water gel whereas this one I can feel like a, a like a light kind of softness to the skin all right so next up we're gonna be getting into the foundation which 
if, if I didn't mention it, these I picked up, I think actually all of this is available. Is all of this from Sephora? I know you can get both of these from Sephora, her new water gel from Sephora. You can get the Laneige from Sephora. Um, and that, yeah, no, so, so yes, to answer your question, Paige, all of it is from Sephora. Um, and of course, everything will be linked down below. But going into the foundation sticks here, I actually picked up two different shades. And I do for, well, I did that for obvious reasons. You guys know I'm not like the best, okay, at like picking things out um, when it comes to shades. And so I picked out shade Creme Brulee and shade Chai. And for my, like my skin tone, I definitely think Creme Brulee, which is the lighter of the two, it's this one. Um, it definitely looks better, but I just want to give you guys one swipe of each. So if you're trying to choose your shade, you kind of can see what I'm doing. So this one right here is Chai. This one is Creme Brulee. Now, because I did that on this side and I'm kind of like a waist not want not kind of lady, I'm going to take and match it up on both sides. I'm just going to use one swipe of each. And then from there, I'll use only the creme brulee and we'll kind of even everything out. Now that I have it all over, I'm just going through and starting to blend it out, press it into the skin with the Laura Lee Los Angeles L11 foundation brush. The thing about this foundation that I learned um, when I was testing it out the first time is that it actually is very workable, whether you're using a brush or a sponge, because in that Instagram video, I, I actually kind of wanted to highlight that point and test it out both ways. And I was really impressed because with a lot of foundation sticks that I've used, I feel like um, when you use them with a sponge, they just don't have the same application. They look very, very sheer in coverage. But with her foundation, which by the way, I'm just layering it up a little bit here, um, I think it has a really nice texture to it. And you're actually able to get a beautiful amount of coverage um, with either direction or with either application method rather. And uh, you, you don't have to... Um, really be super finicky about that, which I love. And then the other thing that I learned about this foundation, which by the way, does it, it sounds like I'm such an expert. I have worn it exactly one time. Like I'm not over here trying to mislead you. Count them one, okay? One, one time I have worn this. But when I did that application, I really did try to be um, like very thorough about, you know, all the aspects of it, application, blend, and whatnot. Because I knew going into this video, I wanted to be able to give you guys as much info as possible. I went ahead, obviously, I zoomed the camera in and I did dim the light so hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about but the way that this settles in this is like the most impressive thing because with me and foundation sticks I feel like they usually run one of two ways normally if it's like a nice pliable formula it just streaks all over the place it doesn't give me any coverage and it looks like crap or <laughs> or um, I'm able to get it to go to the other side where it does build and it does give me coverage but it's a really stiff formula and it looks like really thick and cakey on my skin and with this formula I feel like it is actually the first formula I have tried in a stick foundation that is perfectly in the middle. Like it sits in and I'm able to get coverage, but it looks so freaking skin like. Like it's so pressed into the skin. It looks beautiful. It gives me a nice medium coverage that is lightly buildable. Uh, I would say to a medium, high, medium kind of coverage. And it's just everything about this. Like look at how great that looks. And by, by the way, this is 100% application with a brush. And that's another thing that I always have an issue with when it comes to a stick foundation is I always feel like it looks super streaky. And with this one, because the consistency is like, it's not too stiff, it's not too fluid, it's like right in the middle, I'm able to apply it and it looks like a freaking dream. Like it looks so good, everything just blends out so beautifully. And I mean, the fact that I can have like the cheek, I have texture over here, y'all. Like this, this should not be able to happen with a stick foundation. And it looks so unbelievably beautiful. And I'm just like, I'm, I'm blown away. All right, so next up, we're going in with a little Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. And this has actually been the concealer I have been reaching for a lot lately. It just, it looks beautiful, very skin-like. And with this foundation specifically, because this is the one I tried with it for the first time, um, it looks really beautiful. Beautiful. They just blend together effortlessly and I really like the shades and they just they work together to help shape out my face So I'm gonna go ahead and get this nice and blended in mm, Look at that. Look at her. Look, look at that. Just, oh god, so good. I got to grab my fresh toilet paper y'all I got got my eyes are leaking. Hold on. Hold on. Ooh. Mayday Will Robinson. My eyeballs are leaking. I need my toilet paper. By the way, that's a pro tip in case any of you also have leaky eyes Don't be trying to use Kleenex when you're doing your makeup to like wipe up those eyes. No, no, honey Don't do it. Don't do that to yourself. Use toilet paper because Kleenex is gonna give you all linty It's too soft. It leaves little little fubbery little fibers everywhere and it just does not work It ends up getting stuck to your makeup. Go with toilet paper. It's drier It's it's meant to really absorb 
and it just works a lot, uh, a lot nicer at uh, not leaving my entire face covered in little fuddle, fuzzles, fuddles, fuzzles, whatever. So, you know, pro tip, use toilet paper. Use toilet paper to wipe your eyes. Preferably clean, clean toilet paper. Okay, let's not get crazy. Clean would be preferable, but you know what? You do you. Ew. All right, now going into the uh, next couple of items here. These are some that I picked up from Ulta, and this is their new Ritual de Fil um, <laughs> brand, which did I butcher it? Yes, I did. I'm still so sorry. Uh, but I picked up a couple of things um, during my Ulta order, which, by the way, also, as a, as a side note, I have a cat hair on my face, and this is not it's not working out for me. Um, th that wasn't the side note. But if you follow me on Instagram, you might be you know noticing that there are certain things I talked about that I haven't tested on here. And I just want to let you guys know, one of the things I've started changing about these style videos is I've really started to tailor back the amount of new products in one video because I just felt like it was getting very overwhelming and it made it so we couldn't really focus on one item for longer than like 30 seconds. And so for, you know, all of the stuff that I had piled up, I actually decided to split it down the middle. Like for example, on Instagram, I mentioned to you guys that I picked up these new um, foundation and primer set. This is from a brand called Exa, Exa and this is their high fidelity semi-satin foundation foundation and then this is their smoothing primer and I picked up these I picked up um, a cream blush from a company called hand it's their coral hibiscus and I picked up this Lorac palette I picked up the uh, the, the Tarte brow stuff more love it here I'm not, I'm not I'm not trying to go through every damn item in this box but the more I love it is that um, I there are other items and if you saw them and you're curious where they are I just wanted to let you know because obviously you guys noticed if, if you were looking for a specific item um, I just wanted to let you know that I didn't forget about them they will be filmed but I just wanted to split the video that way everything wasn't super overwhelming and we didn't have you know 17 eye items and 22 cheek stuff and just blah like there, there's just there's just no need for that um I, I feel like we can split it up and just have a better even more chill time with all the products and really let them you know just kind, kind of marinate kind of exist and do their own thing um but but anyways just wanted to let you know that okay so a couple of things number one I had to move the camera back out because I was getting some weird glare that's number one number two um that that's the deal on all the items just wanted to put it out there and then three I'm going in right now with this bronzer because I, for some reason I forgot I was filming and this is the RMS cream bronzer this is their Buriti bronzer and this is a newer item to my channel I just used it in testing Beautylish it was like a haul video which I will link up here let's go ahead now and get into this cream blush as I said before this is the Ritual de Fil um, Inner Glow Cream Pigment and this is in the shade Lovesick and it said on the website yes you can use this on your cheeks, lips, and eyes with your fingertips, a sponge, brushes, whatever, and you can blend it out if you want it more sheer. You can build it up if you want it to be bolder, and it just overall, it's supposed to be like a very workable, all-over face type situation, and I thought it would be, oh god, such a beautiful color. Um, I thought it would be a really good option for um, this foundation because it does have more of like a sheer glow kind of thing going on. Oh, wow. Okay, maybe, maybe I was wrong on that sheery situation. Let's, I don't know, how, how, how does this thing blend with Dello? Oh, she's got some pigment. Okay, so be very light-handed. Um, I'm gonna go in with my sponge here. This is how I like to apply cream products. And I'm just gonna, you know, papple a little bit on the cheeks and see see how it goes. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> she's got payoff. Okay. Um, so let's just really test out this, this sheer situation. Can, can we really blend it out? Because that, that sure would be nice. Um, let's see here. Oh, actually, oh, ooh, actually, that blend, that, it looks like a lot. Okay, I, I get it. But look at this side where, where I put all the leftovers. Ooh, this is very pretty. And it's actually really workable. Right, now, to go along with um, that cream blush, also from the same brand, I did pick up two of their little, little shiny situations because they looked gorgeous. Um, this one is their Ice Bow Rare Light. No, I'm sorry. That's, that's the name of it. Um, it. This is their Rare Light Creme Luminizer in the shade Ice Bow. And I thought it looked so gorgeous. The texture of it is the same as the um, blushy situation. But this one has like that highlighter moment. Like, oh, look at her. Okay. Um, so we have this. And then also, because y'all know me, I like to glow 17 times. Um, I also picked up, this, excuse me, this one comes in a really pretty bag. But this is their Highlight Intensifier. And it, uh, it said on the thing that you can like tap it over top of the other one. <gasps> oh, it's pretty. Um, you can tap it over top. It's almost more of like a gel consistency and it just intensifies. Oh, bitch. Okay. So let's put both of them next to each other. So here, oh shit, there is the intensifier. Yep. And then that is the regular cream luminizer right next to it. Like, oh my God, look at that difference. 
<gasps> this has such a fun consistency to it. It's like almost like a like a sticky gel, which I'm not mad at. I feel like, you know, a product like this does have to have a little tack, otherwise it won't stick. So first up here, I'm going to take the regular creme luminizer, this one right here. And I'm just going to apply it, I think, maybe at first with my finger so we can get a get a feel for that texture. Ooh, 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 ooh. I quite, ooh, 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 ooh. I quite, quite like this, actually. Beautiful texture, like I said, very similar to the blush. It actually shears out really nicely, very workable. Let's see if I can build the shine. You, you guys know me. I'm like, can I build up the shine, though? I need all the glow uh, for this hoe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate myself sometimes. I'm shining. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, now over top of that, I am going to take some of this uh, intensifier situation. Oh my God. I just can't get over how great this is. It looks so bright and so shiny. Um, but let's take, all right, let's do it. So this is the before. Let's add a little bit of this situation on top. Woo! Difference with this one, it takes, like the other one is, a, is you know, that more natural, beautiful kind of inner glow. This one is like the, I want my cheek to look wet. <laughs> like it's that level of um, glow, but it isn't just the glow that does it. It's a mixture between um, the particles in it and the texture. Like the two work together to refract the light really beautifully. And it actually presses in nice, too, for, like, what it is. Again, having that thicker, like, consistency. I thought that this was going to be something that really, like, sat on the surface of your skin. But it really melts in just like the other products do. Dang, that's that's kind of impressive. And it's not... Uh, no, actually, it's not lifting my uh, my foundation, either. That's... Wow. I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of stacking, stacking wins all over the place over here. I'm, I don't know how to handle it. But, like, look at my... Sorry, look at my glowy cheek. Do you see? Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. All right, and then after that, I'm just going in with a very thin layer of my It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination Press Powder. This is in the shade Light. I'm just very lightly, I'm more so pressing this in just so I can do like a light little thin layer. All right, and then also just to add a little, um, a little glow and pop of color to the cheeks, I'm going to tap on a little bit of the Melt Cosmetics Buzzkill Blush. This is one of their Digital Dust Duos. All right, so from here, let's take a little break from the face and go in with something that I was very intrigued by. Um, this is from It Cosmetics, and this is their Brow Power Filler, and it's supposed to be a volumizing tinted fiber brow gel, and this is in the shade Universal Taupe, but the thing that I loved about this, like kind of what intrigued me, is that I think it's supposed to be like a two-in-one product, because it said, where is it at here? Yes, you can use it to brush through the brows as a tint, um, and you can, you know, shape them and set them that way, but you can also use the tip of the brush to fill in sparse areas. So, like, if I I wanted to go in here with an angled brush and actually use the liquid portion um, for that, I'm supposed to be able to do it as well. So obviously I was like, well, we need to test this out. Oh, this is, this is a very interesting tip. I know you guys can't really see it on camera, but it's like a like a like a like a little like a little Christmas tree, but it has little fuzzies on top. Ooh, okay, all right. So let's just let's just try it out, see how it goes. Um, I'm gonna go in first with the little fuzzy Christmas tree end here, and I'm gonna just you know kind of shape up the brows. This is really gonna be kind of a telling product because you guys know, okay, I don't have a lot of natural brow hair. Like I'm trying to grow it, okay. Thank you, Grande Brow. But this is just like. Ooh, ooh, wow, I feel like she's she's giving me a little action. Okay, all right, I love a little brow action. I'm also taking on this, like, the flat paddly part here, and I'm kind of scraping that in an upward direction just for more of a a natural, light little fill. Ooh, that, that's kind of working. Okay, okay, all right, I'm not mad, I'm not, I'm not mad. It's, it's, it, it's, we're gonna, we're gonna play around. All right, so now I'm just gonna go in here with a little angle brush and start filling everything in. Just trying to hit those sparse areas a little bit more, build up the product. But I think, you know, this actually is doing pretty good given, like, I, I hadn't went in with any additional product. I actually feel like this, if you have, like, naturally full brows, you might really like this. Because it does provide a beautiful, fluffy kind of texture. And I feel like the product itself, it's not very heavy. And it actually, it actually does a really nice job. I just, I wish I had more brow hair. <sighs> 
because it would make it even easier. But you know what? That's all right. We just, we haven't grown those brows yet. We will be patient-ish. All right, so I'm not sure how I feel about this in terms of like using the product on a brush to fill in my brows because don't get me wrong, I think on camera it looks okay, but up close, like in, in real life, it just looks a little bit, um, a little bit like thick and cakey and clumpy. And I just, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think that I love it for that. As a brow gel, I actually think that that quality is what I'm liking because it really is like lifting and holding the brows in place, which is very nice. But what I'm actually going to do now just to go in and, and reshape and fill everything in is I'm actually going to grab the It Cosmetics Brow Power Powder, which is, I think, kind of what this is based off of. But this is their original brow powder, and it's also in the shade Universal Taupe. And I'm just going to take, I've had this for years, by the way, it lasts forever. But I'm going to take a little bit of this and use it to finish kind of shaping out the face or the, the face, the brows. And hopefully this will kind of fill in where those hairs are. Wow, those, that fucking, that brow gel is like, it is there, okay? It is, if you have stubborn brows that don't like to lift, mm -hmm. this one is, is showing some good signs. All right, you guys, so I just got back in front of the camera. I took about 40 minutes off to go and talk to talk to my niece who stopped by, and uh, when I got back in here, I noticed that my skin was looking just a little bit dry, and uh, so I added some of this uh, mist. This is the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist 4-in-1, and I added this just because it does have a really beautiful, um, more like luminous kind of glow to it, but other than that, I think we're actually good to move on and get into eyes and for that I'm really excited because I have this new one from Ofra. This is their Symphony Signature Palette which really quickly I forgot to mention it when I was talking about the Laneige makeup serum um, but anything that comes from Octoly it is gifted to me so I don't pay for it but it's gifted in exchange for my honest opinion so if I love it I love it if I hate it I hate it. Um, I I'm good to tell you guys either way there's no stipulations on it it's you know not like a, a sponsored thing or anything um, it's just it basically I receive the product in exchange for my opinion. But anyways, I just wanted to get into that, let you guys know, um, you know, kind of what that relationship is, what it looks like, and that they are from Octoly. But from there, let's get into this palette. So what we have here, for those of you that have never tried Ofra, by the way, <laughs> this one right here in the dead center, this is their highlight, and oh, oh my god, Ofra has, oh chef's kiss from me to Jesus up above. They have like one of the most amazing, luxurious, silky little highlight formulas in the world. And uh, this one right here, this is in the shade Blissful. And oh, let me just, let me just, let me just swatch it for you. Oh, it is so, so good. Um, it's so, I'm sorry. This is one swipe. <laughs> One swipe, people. One swipe. Look at that freaking highlight. Oh my god, it's so good. Um, which really quick, I mean, why don't we just apply that right now? I mean, we wouldn't want to waste any time. Do I need to sit here and not be wearing this highlight? Probably not. Okay, so let's just go ahead and throw that on. Uh, you know, because I because I don't already have two other highlights on. I might as well go for three. Okay, let's just really go for the gusto. All right, so going into this, like, like I said, first we're gonna do highlight. And normally I do set my face, but because I just set it with that rare beauty mist, I think we're gonna be good to go. And uh, I'm gonna to start off actually god i have such a beautiful glow there from those other products oh god those are so beautiful like coming through the powder like that like shit y'all better work okay. okay but anyways let's go ahead and we're gonna tuck our little hairs back behind our ears and we're gonna grab this wayne goss this is his number 10 like i'm sorry but who are you oh ho, ho, look at that glow <gasps> love me an o for glow honey child um now i will say like in terms of skin tone this shade is actually a little bit dark for me you can see when i turn my face there's a little cast right there all right now let's go ahead and oh move on from there we're gonna obviously swatch these other four shades um these are the four eyeshadows Ooh, these are beautiful i think i swatched these on instagram but my god that color story like look at how gorgeous these are we have like a beautiful kind of mauvey moment happening and i am here for it okay i love a mauvey moment really quick i'm gonna throw on a little bit of my benefit cakeless concealer here just as a base and i think for today i was trying to debate if i wanted to go like deeper smokier like what i was kind of feeling in terms of the eyes and I think I want to go with like an all over berry toned eye just because it's going to have like that depth. And, and I think in this palette, that shade just pops really beautifully. All right. So the first shade we're going to go in with is right here. We're going to use this one as more of a transition shade. I'm just taking this and very, very lightly feathering it through the crease. I don't want to build up a ton of pigmentation uh, because I need something that I can just blend the other shades into. And this shade, wow, that actually blends out really well. Like for being as uh, as deep of a color as it is, it actually shears out really nicely. It's not patchy. 
Ooh, I like, oh, I actually, I really like, I would wear that color by itself, damn, okay. All right, now from there, we're really gonna commit and just go in with this deep purple, and I'm taking that on a Morphe M167. It's more of like a, like a dense, flat paddle brush. <laughs> oh, God, we're really gonna commit. And I'm gonna take this and really press it in all over the mobile lid and get it more so set down and then very lightly blend the uh, the edges in to meet that uh, that crease color that we just put down. I'm just gonna slightly deepen it up too, just because, just because why the hell not? You know what, we're, we're here, we're having fun. Let's just deepen it up, make it look nice and blendy. Wow, those actually blended together on their own. I didn't have to do anything. Also, I couldn't figure out this entire time why my hair was in my face all of a sudden. Forgot to put my glasses back on top of my head. Amateur mistake, Paige. Amateur mistake. Okay. Also, if you are uh, going on the Ofra website and you wanted a discount, I think the discount code is Ofra20, and it'll get you 20% off. I'm taking that purple on the, on the lower lash line. But uh, that discount code, it is not affiliated, uh, at least not to my knowledge, to anybody. It's just a generic one that you can use to get 20% off. Um, so if in uh, if in you were curious or if you wanted to shop, that is, uh, that's a route you can go. I'm going to take really quick and blend out with that first crease color. I'm just going to blend a little bit of that onto the lower lash line as well just to make sure that the uh the purple shade is diffused oh ooh, that looks really pretty on camera okay i'm all right i'm not upset about that so with uh, the same flat packer brush i'm going in with the shimmery purple shade which is this one right here on the end um just because it's it's a very similar shade to the one i already laid down but it has a really beautiful light kind of shimmery satin thing going on Ooh, just adds like a little extra pizzazzle because i because i love extra pizzazzle and then just to go in and do the uh, brow bone and the inner eye i'm gonna take the highlight shade out of here and throw that on those areas. Ooh, that's beautiful. All right, now really quick to seal everything in, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. All right, so going into mascara, I, I decided before I started the video that even though I do have a new mascara and a new lash primer, that I, I don't really want to test them together because then I don't really know like what either of them can do. So for today's video, I decided to test out the KVD Vegan Beauty Epic Curl Lash Primer, and I'm going to be using that with a mascara that I do know and love. This is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Lash Magnifying Mascara. So I went ahead and I curled my lashes, and now we're going to go in with the lash primer and the first thing that I notice about this that makes me very happy is that they were uh, smart enough to make the lash primer dark so you can't see it like it doesn't stick out like the the white ones do which drives me crazy um so that right there is already winning it a point in my book and uh, now I'm gonna go in with some of the L'Oreal this is again the age perfect mascara I'm gonna get a nice little coat of this going. All right, beautiful people. So while I was off of camera, obviously I did mascara and then I threw on this lip combo. Now this isn't anything new, which is why I did it off of camera, but this is the Essence Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner in the shade seven. I am shooketh, which bitch I am. This is so beautiful, so creamy, and I love the Essence 8 Hour Lip Liners. They are fantastic. But I went in with that um, just, you know, to line it all out. And then for lips, I went in with this one from ABH. This is actually their liquid lipstick in the shade shade Trust Issues, and it is a beautiful, beautiful, deep purple. But anyways, moving on to the rest of, you know, the face, kind of wrapping it all together. Let's go ahead first and throw up the up close. That way you guys can see how everything is looking. And I think I'm actually going to start off today with the lash primer because um, you guys are going to be up close and personal with my lashes. And I actually really, really like this primer. I feel like it did do a nice job um, really defining and lengthening the lashes, but it didn't do it in like a super, you know, like hyper clumpy way. It wasn't, like I said, a wet or thick formula and so you're not going to get like a ton of added volume but I can definitely see what they're saying when they call this more of like a lengthened curling kind of primer because it definitely clings to the lashes and really does elongate them especially when you go over it you know with with a mascara that works really well for you I, I like I can definitely see a difference and FYI I did go ahead in the upper and lower waterline and I added some of this Fenty Beauty fly liner pencil this is in the shade black card it's just a basic black liner but uh, if you're looking at me and you're like what is that I just can't can't quite put my finger on it. It's this. I, I forgot to tell you, I added some liner. Now for the rest of the products, you guys, this like, this hasn't happened in a long time, but I feel like out of everything I tried, there really isn't anything that I hated. But I guess just to go back through them, I mean, both primers look really beautiful on my skin. Um, like I talked about with the Laneige one, I can see a little bit of a smoother like surface right here. And I think that's just because the Laneige one kind of has that built into it. Whereas the Huda one kind of goes into your skin and really hydrates from the inside out. Um, that 
that, that that seems to be the main difference of both primers anyway, so I'm not surprised if it, you know, shows up now as I'm kind of finalizing my thoughts, but both sides still look really beautiful. I don't have any issues there. The foundation looks really nice. I actually really like that palette from Ofra. It performed nicely. There was no patchiness. The colors were very blendable, and I feel like for this time of year, it's like a perfect, easy kind of go-to palette. Um, that brow gel situation, by the way, from It Cosmetics, like my brow hairs, girl, they are still lifted and like living their best life, so very impressed with that. All right, you guys, so really quickly, <laughs> I just sat here and did my entire outro talk, did all the good things, and then I remembered that, you know, like 10 minutes ago, as I was doing my wrap-up, I wanted to give you guys some more info on this Huda stick, because obviously, like, today's video isn't just a, like, a normal foundation wear test, and if that's what you're used to, I still wanted to give you all of the info on it that I have from wearing it before. Um, so just a couple of things kind of to round them out. Obviously, I mentioned with the coverage, it is a beautiful medium. I would say buildable to a high medium. Um, and what I like about it is that it builds without looking like overly cakey. It actually, you know what, I would go as far as to say not only does it not look cakey, it still looks very skin-like even when you build it, which I thought was really impressive. Again, performs really well with a sponge or a brush. So your preference there, you know, you, you can go either route. And I think the thing everybody wants to know with this is the wear. You know, how does it look? How does it sit? And I will say, as someone that's more combo-leaning oily, um, I did notice on my first day wearing it that my T-zone was pretty oily, uh, but I also think that that is to be expected with a foundation stick because they don't really have, like, the, the mattification to them. But anyways, you guys, that is it. That's the end of the video this time for real. Yeah, I mean it this time. Um, but let me know all of your thoughts down below. Did you like the video? Is there a product you were curious about? Are you excited to test the foundation? Um, or were you not curious about it at all? Like, give me, give me kind of your thoughts, opinions on the situation. And like I said at the start of the video, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications. I'm here three days a week, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You can follow me on Instagram, which I would <laughs> greatly appreciate. Oh, and by the way, all of this will be linked down below. If you want to shop it, check it out. I'll have all the info, all of the shades, um, and the discount code for that Ofra one. I think it's Ofra 20, but it, it'll all be linked down below nonetheless. And with that, beautiful people, I think that's everything. Thank you guys all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> oh, don't you fall. Don't you fall, microphone. Microphony. You're phony. It's what you are. What do I want to use? What do I want to use? What, 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 what do I want to use? <gasps> oh, oh, the butthole lip. Look at the butthole lip. You see that? Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> oh, is anybody else this easily amused or is it just me? Wee <laughs> wee. Oui, oui. <laughs> Paige, stop it. Stop it right now.